Manny, you've uh, signed a contract today for Forest Green. You left Bath City, step, stepped up a level. You must be delighted to have signed. Yeah, I'm very happy. You know, I'm very privileged as well. I'm happy to be given the opportunity to come play for this club. It's exciting. You know, I'm happy to be part of this project and push the club forward. When did you first hear about Forest Green's interest? Um, I think it was about a, a month ago. A month ago, but it wasn't. So it was it was just only interest. It wasn't something that was concrete. So, but I'm happy how they still, you know they're showing more interest and you know and for me to come. So I'm happy to be here. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of competition to break into the team. I mean, the team, as you know, uh, top of the league. Yeah. Pushing to get into the football league, and I mean, those are the things that must have attracted you yeah. when you heard there was interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see they're they're doing really well in the league. You know, I know it's going to be. You're sat down now on the sofa, so um, you look about two foot tall. But yeah. you're you're, uh, you're six foot four, I believe. And yeah. Can you just tell us a little bit about where you play and and your strengths and how you like to play? Six foot, yeah, I'm six foot four. Yeah, you're correct. You know, I'm a I'm a centre back, but I can, I can play left back as well. But I did start my career as a striker, so I've also got I, I'm also capable of playing as a striker. But naturally, I'm a I'm a centre back slash left back. So I would say I'm just I'm very on the ball, like to pass, you know, different type. I've got good, diff, good ranges of passes, so I'm able to do that, and I can adapt to the, the style, the way for a screen play. So, which is good, which is good for my advantage. So, I'm happy. I understand you began your your footballing education with Queens Park Rangers. So, I mean, that was a that was a great start. Can you tell us a little bit about that, and also who you've played for since then? Yeah, I started off my career um, as a schoolboy when I. You know, I was, um, first training session, I, I went there as a striker, so I was naturally a striker, so uh, the coach Mark Bircham said to me, play, play as a centre-half, and I was like, oh, centre-half, <laughs> and I was like, play as, I was like, okay, cool, so I done really well, surprisingly, done well in the first training session, and from then, you know, I just excelled from there, you know, signed a two-year scholarship, and was grateful enough to be a professional there, you know, with one of, which is one of my biggest, which is one of my biggest achievements. As a as a young boy growing up, you always wanted to have sign a professional contract. So that alone, there, I was very happy. So was was that when um, QPR were a Premier League team or a Championship? Um, I signed for them when they. I signed. I think it was they were a Premier League team, and that's and when I left, they were in the Championship. So yeah, so I was on. So it was very good to be to be walking, you know, in a building with you know professionals and that. So then after that, I left my off. Oh, after I left QPR, um, I went to I went to Hayes Hayes and Yelling Hayes and Yelling for a bit. You know, at that time I, was, um, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I just thought let me just go to Hayes. I thought you know I need to play. I mean, let's go, let's go and play Hayes and Yelling. Then after Hayes and Yelling, um, I went to Hull and Waterlooville, so I was there for a year. And after Hull and Waterlooville, you know, Bath showed me what, a lot of faith in me and gave me an opportunity to come play for them. And I went to play for for Bath and my first game from Bath and you know how the lads um, was was so welcoming you know and and I really I really enjoyed my time there you know so yeah yeah Mark, Mark Cooper the manager said to me in an interview yeah. earlier when I asked him about you he said he was very keen to sign what he calls young hungry players who can develop and one at the moment that is getting rave reviews is Ethan Pinnock who came from the Ryman League so yeah. you know that, that that is the ethos of the club really and then to build as you rise up the league so that must be pleasing to hear that yeah yeah it's very it's, um, very pleasing to hear that you know I'm, I'm young you know I'm just um, willing to learn willing to work hard every day you know I'm humble and I just want to I just want to play you know and just do the best I can do you know and just well for the club yeah. and hopefully the club to excel and also obviously here as well there is an ethos to play play from the back as well so yeah. Mark Cooper wants players who are comfortable on the ball which you've obviously said you are so that yeah. must, must be music to your ears really yeah yeah I'm buzzing you know because that's how I started off for that's what I was always told to do from when I was at QPR you know play from the back play in that position you know be confident 
things so you know um, I can adapt to it you know so I'm, I can adapt to any type of any type of play, any type of game situation so which is good so I'm happy yeah I know you said to me earlier you're based in in Bromley yeah. there's, qu there's quite a lot of I know you've not met the team yet yeah. but there's quite a lot of London boys in and around the team so I mean that helps as well doesn't it in oh, terms yeah. of commuting in oh yeah that, that'll be good to be fair I never I was told there's a few London lads so yeah that'll be good and you know it's very like um, I haven't been I haven't been away from my home for a while so it'll be it'll be you know it'll be good for me you know to grow as a person you know being in a different environment you know Newgate full time you know being uh, being in a in a different city so it'll be good for me it'll be good for me you know growing as a person and you know as a pro and mentally mm -hmm. and also helping me you know get away from London and you know and concentrate on football so I'm happy yeah and of course as well the club have accommodation for players so a, yeah. a, a, you know a night before a home game you can be closer to to the ground I mean that, that's yeah. a great great facility to have isn't it yeah that's good yeah they have everything can everything in position so to look after players so I'm really happy with that I'm really looking forward to meeting the rest of the lads and you know and being part of the, the team what do you know about Forest Green in well, terms of the, the club I know obviously they're top of the league but yeah. is, there the, is it completely brand new to you or have you had a look on the internet <laughs> I mean I've, I've always known for I've always known Forest Green but I haven't known like deep history about it but I've known I've been I've, I've kept tabs on it you know when you know when I'm looking at the tables of the conference, and I always see them. You know, mm. to fly in. You know, you know, doing really well, and also they win the football league as well. So I've really, I know, I know enough about the club. Yeah. So, yeah. and obviously there is you obviously know as well that the huge ambition of the chairman and the manager to win promotion this season and then keep climbing and climbing. I mean, the ultimate yeah. goal the chairman has said is is the championship. Yeah, oh, that's really exciting. You know, anything's possible. You know, I. You know, it's a great, a good team. They're doing really well. So, you know, I'm happy to be here, and I just want to push on. I want to do really well, and do well for the club. Okay, thanks, Manny, and all the very best to you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.